Hello everyone, this is Ritesh from Dancing with Data. If you are coming here for the first time, do subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you are liking the videos and don't forget to press the bell icon. That's how only you get the notification. Now that's my website dancingwithdata.com where I blog about data analytics from Tableau to Power BI, their, their comparison, Tableau troubleshooting, uh, certification content, uh, so forth and so on. Remember this is a Tableau bonus series. That means whatever you do with Power BI, I will give you the link to get the same output via Tableau. Basically that, that will be my blog only. The other bonus is the PEL 300 question. So let's start with the PEL 300 question, right? What would be the, what would be the DEX expression to get, you know, you have product categories and within that categories, you have subcategories over there as you can see. So how you are going to get with the help of a DEX with the help of DEX, that is data analysis expression, so that within every category, you see only top three subcategories with the highest sales. So for example, if you just scan office, office supplies over there, binders and binder accessories is the subcategories having the highest sales. So we, we just want those top three categories in each product category. Although there are a number of other subcategories as well, but we just want the top three within each category. So grouping is there. So these are the four options over here and the answer to this means we are going to solve this problem itself and the answer will be there at the description as well. So definitely we are going to run, learn about rank X function. In the previous video that is uploaded at my Tableau channel, we achieved the same target using rank function of Tableau. So we will achieve the same using Power BI. So you get two in one with every video you are getting the Power BI or say Tableau equivalent, what else you want. Let's move over focus back to Power BI. This is the simple data model. You have orders table and you have returns table. There is a one to many relationship from returns table to the orders table because with one order ID, you have multiple products which might be returned. You can have a look at the orders table over here, which is nothing but a generic order table where you have order ID, ship mode, customer segment, product categories and product subcategories. So I was talking about these product categories and subcategories. So we want to rank top three within each product category in terms of their sales, only top three. So let's do it from the scratch. So you have a matrix table. You have to just bring in product categories and product subcategories to rows. And for values, you we are going to make use of some of sales or say sales. So here you go. Within office supplies, you have these many subcategories, furniture and technology. Now we want to have top three within each product category and we are going to make use of rank function or say rank X function to be precise. So this is a syntax that is from the Microsoft uh, official document. So you can see the syntax says rank, then you should have table, then you should have expression in this, in our case it's uh, sales for sure. Then you have value which is a little weird, value is weird as if like if you want to bring in profit instead of sales so you put profit over there and the expression for a particular row in the context will rank according to profit keeping rest of the rows as sales which is quite confusing <laughs> thankfully we are not making use of this but this is something different quite different so this is an optional parameter over there and after that uh, you have order means uh, in which order you want ascending or descending so order is also optional the last one is the ties right that will help you to determine ranking when there are ties do you want to skip it or keep it dense ranking so let's go ahead and write a rank function with power bi let's go and uh, let us give this a good name say rank okay we are making use of rank x function okay after that, first of all, you need a table over there, right? In our case, we will have table name or column name. So what we are ranking, we are ranking product subcategory. So we can say product subcategory. We will make it clear. Let Power BI understand what you want to say. And after that, sum of expression. So we say calculate sum of sales and we can just make it a little more visible and arranged and after that so you got the the expression over there uh, and have to put the bracket and after that uh, 
value right value we are skipping the value in this case uh, descending so we want the first rank at the top and after that what do you want do you want to have dense ranking or you want to skip the tie so we want to have the dense ranking here you go we got the rank so we got the rank we can just cross it for a while and bring this rank to our matrix and here you go so we are almost there 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 4 that's great so now we just want to ensure that we have only top three so we need to filter right so let's filter what rank i open this and say is less than or equal to three and say apply filter here you go one two three one two three one two three uh, let us try to compare this with the Tableau result. Well, Tableau looks exactly similar to Power BI and it should be, right? I've just rearranged furniture to the second position as it is over there. You can just drag and drop like this. So this way you can do with uh, uh, Tableau. So you can see office supplies here, office supplies, appliances number three, binder is number one with the same value, 638 and all. So this is exactly same as uh, Tableau. For Tableau part, uh, do check the description end to end. This time we were talking about more about Power BI. So this is how you get uh, rank within partition as far as Power BI is concerned, Power BI matrix is concerned. I hope this session was helpful and uh, I meet you again. Do subscribe to my channel. If you, are, if you are coming here for the first time, press the like button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Then only you get the notification, right? So this is Ritesh signing off from Dancing with Data. Because data is data, what do you want to do? Everything is data.